Yo, what's going on? Sexy Sam on the squad today. We're doing a ranked 1v1. Just kidding. It's a 5v5. It's Conquest and it's Smite 2. And not only is it Smite 2, it's the new god. It's it's not really technically the first look because I practiced him a little bit because I didn't want to like suck. Um, But dude, this god goes so unbelievably hard closer. it's it's actually it's actually insane i think i think he might be one of the best gods right now he's banned i would say 90 percent of the time in ranked let's just put it at 90 percent because realistically this is the only game of ranked this is my 10th game of ranked i think or eighth game of rank and this is the only game he hasn't been banned so <laughs> so you know take that how you will is pretty insane um i guess i gotta go over his kit with y'all because there's a lot of things new about him so first and foremost he has a four auto attack chain it goes one two three and then four the first and the fourth auto attack is based off of 100 percent strength 20% intelligence, uh, the scaling is. So if you build strength on him, that's your first and fourth auto is going to be increased more. Your second and third auto is actually increased 100% scaling of intelligence. So if you want to, you can actually build him as an auto attack mage. Um, and then his all abilities, they pretty much all scale off of strength, as you can see. He's pretty much 100% scaling strength, except for his Two and his three actually scale off of, um, his two and his three scale off of intelligence as well, but mainly strength on everything. <clears throat> and then on top of that, he has a King Arthur passive, as you can see above my God portrait. Hold on. Let me just clear away. What is this? What's the plan? What's the plan here, buddy? Yeah, you better blink. Um, as you can see above my God portrait, there's kind of a King Arthur meter there. And that's because your ultimate is like King Arthur's. It does two different things. I will be able to show you that when we get to it. So for now, just understand what that meter is. His space bar, as you can see, this little icon right here, the shoulder charge. It's kind of a secondary passive. Um, And what that does is it lets you do this dash after using an ability... Or an auto attack, you can see right now, if I press space, all it does is jump. But if I attack and I press space, it does a little shoulder charge. And that's kind of a micro knockup, like it's a micro stun that will actually knock up the enemy for a very small amount of time. And um, it will also give you a little bit of move speed, like it moves you forward a little bit. Again, it's really small. It's mainly just used for the micro knockup, but you can use it to get out of some abilities. Um, enemy missing middle. And then we'll go straight from that into the one. Now, the one is a little bit complicated because it has two different kind of abilities within one. The first one is this. This is the this is the one. It's one swipe and then one overhead swipe. And when the one is purple, like right now, you can see the one is purple. Uh, that means that the overhead... The, uh, the overhead is gonna do some extra damage based on your protections um i gotta press this just so he doesn't get the big minions gonna do extra damage based on how much protections you have and then the orange one which is the one i just used there it is the same kind of ability it's one swipe and then an overhead swipe but that overhead swipe doesn't do additional damage instead it will heal you slightly for each enemy hit um and those are just the two ones that it do uh, that you can do. They both scale off of um, your protections and your strength, both different forms of it. So if you're just trying to get some damage in, you use it without auto attacking first. If you want to get some healing in, you'll auto attack, um, and then either on your second or third auto attack, it will turn orange because the purple. Purple form is your first weapon. As you can see, my, my weapon on my right is purple. Weapon on my left is kind of orangish, right? So the first form is that. And then in your auto attack chain, when you, your next auto is going to be the orange weapon. 
then you can use your one to have the orange one. Which will, again, it'll just heal you a little bit, as you can see. Uh, the two is just a little... I, I say little. It's kind of a huge one. It's an attack speed stim. <clears throat> um, I'm not actually sure. Can I show you guys the attack speed stim? I can't. Okay, so it, it does damage in around you based off strength and intelligence, as always. And then it gives you attack speed and movement speed for the duration of the buff, which it says... Oh, I can see it right there. Okay, 40% attack speed. It is 40% attack speed. 12% movement speed, scaling up to 20% movement speed. You get some additional protections. And the buff lasts for four seconds while also debuffing anyone you scream at because your two is a scream. Um, it debuffs them for the same amount of protections as you get. So it's like a buff, kind of like a buff steal. Kind of a buff steal. Or a protection steal, not buff steal, sorry. So it's a buff steal that gives you 40% attack speed and 20% move speed. Um, and honestly, it's a really, really underrated ability, I feel like. People don't really level it up a lot, but... And, I mean, to be fair, I don't really level it either. Until I have to. Just because his other abilities are so good. But even it being, like, a quote, like, quote unquote, his worst ability, it's still an insanely strong ability. And really, really good in boxing. Um, hello. Fight me. I sundered him there. I could have maybe killed, but I don't know. I'm a little scared. Damn, look at that damage. Crazy. Crazy damage. I have 3,000 gold, by the way. I should probably back. All right, so the next ability is his three, and his three is... Hold on, let me just... All right, I have auto-buy on just so I can talk about the god more. Um, His three does a lot of things, as you can see. But to dumb it down, as you can see when you throw it out, there is a initial very small line, and then a much wider line on each side of that little initial small line. Um, The wide line, like the very big one, that just means if if you hit them, it does damage. That's it. Like it, very simply, boom. It does damage and it slows them. Um, my team just got cooked. But the very little line, if you hit it direct, as you see direct hits with the center of the projectile, it causes a bleed, which is basically the effect of care on one when you hit someone with care on one, and they walk around and they they do damage to themselves. That's what a bleed is. So if you hit them with a three and they walk around, they're running away or something, they will take damage every step they take, uh, including if they jump, if they dash, if they go underground with Hades, you know, what, it doesn't matter. They're still going to take damage if they move. Um, so it's really, really good. It is a little bit hard to land because it is so thin. Please don't kill me. Look at that damage. Um. Here's the ult. Oh, wait. He's chasing me. Oh. Wait, did that hit him? Did you just pull him out of the air? He was going to ult, so I had to run away from his ult. I would have gotten actually killed because I didn't get beads. I got Sunder. <clears throat> And I can't ult him if he's too immune. So, the two alts. The first alt is um, with this first little dash right here of your passive. That's when you can use your first initial alt, which is what I can use right now. The second alt is what you just saw me do, where you kind of go down into Naruto run stance and you dash. And um, you can go through walls when you do that. So, I'm going to show you here. You can dash through walls. And when you hit something, you CC them up in the air. Boom. Now, I've probably just killed myself. Just to showcase that, but it's worth it. Maybe. I think I'm so dead here. 
Yeah. Uh, but that's basically what you can do with your alt. You can dash through walls. Uh, it lasts for, I think, five seconds. But if you're in a wall, when your alt times out, it just lets you go until you get out of the wall. That's it. It's nothing like... You're not going to get stuck in the wall. <laughs> but then what it does is in a big AoE radius, and I have done this before. Um, I have a clip of it on Twitch if you come over to Twitch and you check it out. But the knockup where you saw me like bring the Fenrir up, do a bunch of attacks, and then slam him down. That is an AoE ability that will pick up and do that damage to every unit around in that big circle radius you see while dashing. Uh, it's pretty insane. There's no smaller amount of damage that it does. It does the same amount of damage to every single one. Um, and then the other version of the ultimate, the, the lesser OP one is this one right here, where you kind of grab them and you vampire them a bit. Um, you're getting actually owned here. You lived, but only barely um and that's just the the very like oh that's mine the smaller version of the alt and again because it's like a king arthur alt you really don't have a big cooldown with it it's a very fast cooldown that you can kind of spam but the biggest thing about the alt in my opinion the smaller alt is obviously I don't need to tell you what the coolest thing about the big alt is. The coolest thing about the smaller alt is the fact that it heals you. And it's not a small amount of health. Like that thing. Um, does it say? Let's pursue the weak. Oh, that's because that's what it's charged up to right now. Let's pursue the weak. I'm just going to ult him. I'll probably just jump it though, to be honest. Yeah. It's very easy to juke his alt. It's like, um... I think you win the fight, gamer. Even though I have 1,300 gold in hand. Nice. This is what I wanted to see. The stats on this heart slash. So it deals damage to enemies in front of you. It is... Well, it used to be AoE. I don't think it's AoE anymore, right? Oh my gosh. It's so hard for him to kill me. Alright, perfect. Grab this. Okay, so you hit an enemy god, they're rooted, and then you channel, siphoning their life force, gaining a 200 HP shield, and healing, scaling off of your intelligence. So you can make this ult really good with intelligence. Uh, but I normally just build him like kind of a tank bruiser. And that's, that's really it. I guess that's all it does. It just heals you, gives you some health. Um, it, it gives you some shield, gives you some health, and does a little bit of damage while rooting them. But yeah, obviously the bread and butter is, is the big alt. It's super cool. Everyone wants to use it. Nice, I got the Warhorn. I have so much gold in hand. So the way I play Mordred is I max his one and then his three because the bleed damage is really good. And then I'll just go like, oh. he's going to ult here probably, right? Oh, he didn't. Oh, he blinked. All right. Dude, I do so much damage, though. Like, I have 3,000 gold in hand, and he can't even fight me. Oh. Nice. Nice. Good job, Chris. Thanks for the gank. By the way, I am 5-man queued right now. Because you can 5-man queue when ranked. Which is insane. I think I probably could have killed that Fenrir without Chris's help, but a little bit of help is always appreciated. And yeah, it, dude, this god is so complicated. It took me 14 minutes just to go over his abilities in the middle of a game. And now I get to actually play him and like showcase. I've been in lane this entire time, so my alt really hasn't been hit that much. I think I've hit my alt twice. 
One time I did it and I killed myself just to show what the alt looked like. But he's a, he's a very, very, very strong god. Where are you? Where are you guys? Hmm. Alright, you're dead. You're not dead? Damn, I can't believe that, uh... I can't believe that... Hakate lived. Honestly. I really want to get some tick damage in the build. Like I have, I have, um, blue stone, but if I could get like a heart seeker or something, that'd be really good. You change the UI in this alpha. You can. Yeah. All right. Check it out. Grab the Loki so he can't run at me. I'm gonna stun him. Nice, I got my heal off. Let's go, dude. Holy shit, I lived. Alright, I got my heal off with my one because I auto attacked before using the one. And it healed me for 130 HP off of the Bacchus. Right before his auto attack hit me, I would have died. That was so close. But yeah, you can see just how good this alt is. Not only at initiating, but you can also use it to get out of things because you are completely CC immune while casting. Um... He's just going to run away. That's fine. Let's go get my buffs. I do have one complaint because I am using um, auto build right now. And the auto build actually is really good. So if you're a new player, um, I mean, we're all new players right now. But like, let's say you watch this video in a month or something. If you're a new player to Smite 2, just use the auto build because they did put a lot of time into the auto build and it is actually a good build. Um, oh, I caught him. Oh, all right. He altered. He altered. Okay. I caught him. I caught him. Okay, I killed the Loki. Can we kill anyone else? Oh. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Oh. Uh oh. Wait, that doesn't seem like a smart play for you. Wait, yeah, it does. You killed all of us. We're dead. Ah. No. <laughs> I was hoping they autoed it first and then I could juke around. Whatever. They killed us, but we got a Phoenix and Ryland. I'll take it. Oh, he's going to kill him too. Holy. Holy shit. He cooks. He does so much damage. Oh, man. Is there a way to see what items you're going to build into? Oh, this is going to build into Void Shield because I have both the components for that. And every tier three item in the game is unique, by the way, in the sense of what 
tier two items filled into them. So like Hydra's is the only item in the game that infused axe and I don't even get to attempt that word, but those two axes build into, um, like, let's say you want to go heart seeker. That's going to use void shard plus infused axe transcendence. That's infused axe and manatome. And they all have like the stats that you're looking for in terms of, let's say you want a mana strength item like transcendence. You're going to buy a strength item and a mana item. And that's more than likely going to build into transcendence. They made it really simple. They did change up the building aspect in this, in, in like the sequel game, Smite 2. That, so they didn't want to change it up. And at the same time as changing it for like new players, make it impossibly hard to adapt to for old school players like me. Um, and that was their solution was they still have every item unique, even though they have a bunch of extra items in the game. I assume they're going to add a lot more items than they have right now, though. Honestly. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. An ally has been slain. Damn it. Come here. Oh. Holy shit, he got on. Oh, he can't move. Hello, soul. Hello, Fenrir. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Nice. The only god in the game alive is soul on the enemy team. I really want to get the tower. Although the Gold Fury is the uh, the fully evolved Gold Fury, so it's probably 100% worth it to do. Although I will say Loki has spawned and Hikate has spawned, and they both have insanely good ult. I sense your fear. They both have insanely good ult for this. Hey, thank you for the $10, which adds 10 minutes to the timer. Thank you so much. Donated $10. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you. All right. We got 2,400 gold. Let's go back. And that is going to give us... What item did it buy us? Your Genji's guard. When you take magic damage from passives... Oh, when you take magic damage from abilities, your cooldowns are reduced by three seconds. So it's just the same Genji's. And this item. What can this item build into? So many different things. Um, I could just alt that Hagate, honestly. Attack. Oh, nice beads. Nice. Catch the Bacchus. Oh, okay, or not. Let's go, dude. Dude, the engage on this god is so dumb. I mean, we have minions here. We might as well just kill this phoenix, right? Got him. Knocked up. Oh, I bled him. Loki's here. Knocked up. Oh, scream that. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. What is that? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I've been cornered. Dude, you fly when you do that with Ymir. I didn't know you flew that much. I didn't know it knocked you that far away. That's crazy. 
Nice. Good kill. Good jukes. Good jukes. Oh, Chris almost killed himself. Chris, Chris wanted to get the kill, so he dashed in, but he almost killed himself there. Holy crap. Loki and Finn are both alive. They're staggering their deaths so much, it's actually hard for us to end. Oh no. Live, Kern, live! He actually lived and we win the game off that. Holy crap. Kernano seems broken. He went 13 and 5. Who did top damage? Chris did. Good stuff, gamers. Anyways, that is Mordred. First look, pretty much. Um, go to the God Mastery page to claim new Mastery rank for Mordred. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Sick. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.